target acquired. This from above! Ah, rats! I thought I had that one. Were you trying to stab me? Why? Don't take it personally, kid. It's just what I do. For instance, just a minute ago, I took down this whole ship after ripping the very fabric of space itself. To you, you got off easy. Just when I thought things couldn't get any stranger. Um... I knew you'd be back. Something tells me you're a girl who knows the value of a good knife. Can I just confirm that you are a talking knife? Because I'm trying to figure out if I'm losing my mind, or just mildly hallucinating. Oh, I'm the real deal, kid. I'm technological marvel, and sharp, too. What are you doing inside the monster, Mog Chathra? Monster? Kid, you are inside the spaceship Bossa Nostra. All red, just outside of it, actually. We're outside of a spaceship? Then how can I breathe? Don't ask me. I'm solid state. I gotta admit, though, this ship and everything around it has been acting a little nutty since I cut it. But that's to be expected. Who's the captain of this ship? Well, the other kid who just tumbled through that bright spot in space, that's the one we called Commander. But the real brains of the operation, we just called Mom. Where can I find Mom? Beats me. I haven't heard from her in a while. But hey, I didn't stab her. You can't pin that on me. You're coming with me. And for the record, I took down this ship. Whatever. Ride's a ride. I can still see the sky through that hole in space. Weird. Attention. Current altitude below recommended level. Outer hull breach detected. Attempting emergency takeoff. Warning. Ship off axis. Gyro stabilizers offline. Anti-gravity field unavailable during hull breach. Initializing start. What is that? A goldfish bowl? Oh. I guess space helmet makes more sense. Matrix clear. Completing star field repair. Star field integrity restored. Initializing repressurization. Function unavailable. Air transport system incomplete. Hey, Pointy. You actually any good at cutting stuff? The name's Dutch. Any answers? Yes. 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 Yes! Finally. Thanks for that. Thank you. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Unable to repressurize. Unable to... To engage anti-gravity field. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Hmm. I might be able to make a connection with this little hose, but which one? Hook this hose up here. What's this one do? I'm 
I hope that gas coming out isn't flammable. Okay, this one's got to be the air supply. Or is it sewage? Warning, fluid detected in air supply. That doesn't sound good. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Function unavailable. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to Should be able to make some sort of useful connection with this. Unable to engage anti-gravity field. Air transport hmm. system I might be able to make a connection Unable with this little hose, but which one? That goes there. Can't reach the other pipes with this short hose. Weird smell coming out of this one. This pipe goes... Okay, that should do something good. Warning, air venting into sewage overflow. Yeah. What's this one do? Warning, coolant detected in air supply. That doesn't sound good. Pop this on here. Accessing maintenance panel 114. Okay. But is that good or bad? No idea what this one is for. Air transport system incomplete. Function unavailable. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Unable to engage hmm. anti-gravity I might be able to make a connection with this little hose. Air transport system incomplete. Unable this one could be important. Or not. What's this one do? Okay, this one's got to be the air supply. Or is it sewage? Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. That wouldn't make anything interesting as far as I can tell. But which one? I'll attach this. I have a good feeling about that pipe. Accessing maintenance panel 22. Hmm. Warning, air venting into sewage overflow. Yeah. Accessing maintenance panel 36. Hmm. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Well, who wants to live forever, right? I'm really starting to like you, kid. How? That hurt. But it was worth it for this hose. I think. 
cutting is always worth it. Air transport system incomplete. Unable to repressurize. Hopefully I can make some new connections with this long hose. What's this one do? Okay, this one's got to be the air supply. Or is it sewage? Air transport system integrity restored. Oh, yeah. Beginning repressurization. Wait, that's good, right? Engaging anti-gravity field. Oh, here we go. Gyro stabilizers online. Is the room spinning? Or is it me? Uh-oh. There's the hatch. Aw, I missed it. Yikes, what's that claw thing? And that claw thing. go. You got me. Now let go of that helmet. Giant claw, get out of the way. Rats, need to get the timing right. Come on, hand to hand combat. Hmm, not even a handshake. They just don't seem to be attracted to each other. Tells me I'm not going to be able to get you to let go of that boot, am I? Hang on, let's see it now. Whoa! Hey, I recognize that grip. I'll bet you were inside one of those tentacles that grabbed me on the beach. Probably one of the ones I shot, I'm guessing. Well, serves you right. Maybe I can push off this thing. Woohoo! Space! I did it! Oh, come on. Ah! That's better. The air was starting to get a little thin out there. I'm either in some sort of hallway or else... It's the creature's esophagus. Oh no. We're moving. That means I 
brought Mob Chathra back to life. Man, this place is a mess. Mob Chathra may be alive again, but he doesn't look so hot. junk in here. Ah, the belly of the beast. Or ship. Either way, monster or machine, I took it down before. Should be even easier from the inside. this? Some sort of living quarters? Huh. Someone pried open this vent. I wonder why. Guess there's only one way to find out. Uh, Shay! You! It's you! The last one! Who are you? Are you in control of this monster ship? No. She is in control. The brains. I was just a stowaway sent to save the young boy. What were you saving the boy from? From her. The one they call Mom. She's been programmed to keep the boy safe, but she's taken it beyond sanity or reason. Now he is her prisoner. We all are. Who's her? I mean, who is she? She's the brains of this ship. You can find her in the room next to the galley. But be careful. She has eyes and hands everywhere. The boy's not a prisoner anymore. He escaped when I, uh, boarded. I see. Well, that shouldn't affect the mission. Which mission? To get control of this ship and end this madness. Is the boy the one kidnapping maidens? No, and yes, he made the selections but didn't know what he was selecting. He thought he was rescuing helpless creatures because that's really what we were doing. How were you rescuing anyone? We were saving you <coughs> from the plague. What plague? Get me out of here and I'll explain. Why did you have the boy select whom you were rescuing? Even our best technology is no match for the instincts of a boy like Shay, especially at his age. You're not really explaining anything. It's <coughs> hard for me to talk. Get this off of me and I can explain <coughs> everything. Why did you call me the last one? You were the last creature final subject of our rescue mission. Shay seemed especially interested in you on more than one occasion. Why did you single me out? I assume he sensed your strength somehow, your spirit. I hope he was right. Where are the other maidens you rescued? They're safe, but locked up. Once we get control of the ship back from her, we can free them. Where is this ship headed? I assume back to its homeland to deliver us to its masters. Can we stop this ship? Yes, but only if we can get into the central control room. 
She's locked the door with some sort of manual override. It can only be opened by her from the inside. Can you open any of the locked doors on the ship? Well, my arms are pinned, but I think I can push this one button. That's the best I can do. Thanks. I can work with that. Hey, wait, you're a wolf. Sorry, I've had a really strange day, and it's getting hard to recognize strange things right away. It's a long story, but I promise if you help me get out of here, I'll explain everything. I've got to go. Get into the central control room. It's the only way to stop this. is locked. I wonder what they keep in here. Looks like some sort of animal sleeps here. in here after a tornado wonder if I can learn something about that kid in here apparently these people had giant monster spaceship technology before they perfected color photography I'll give this guy one excuse he had a weird childhood I wonder if he lost his first teeth by licking a moving beater, like I did. That train wreck looks like ominous foreshadowing to me. Shay's first space boots, age five. Shay's first space boots, age five. Safety award, aquatics category. Looks like some sort of medical report. Metabot exam report. Patient continues normal, healthy development. Unlike his first five years, this year has been marked by a remarkable growth spurt. In one year, he has grown two inches taller and gained three shoe sizes. Splarg therapy appears to be working. Splarg? It's a painting of what looks like a red boot. Looks like a note written by a little kid. Dear Shoe Fairy, thanks for the shoes. Aw, the red striped ones were cool, and so were the green ones with skulls. But next year, could I please have red shoes with skulls? Please, please, please. Thanks, Shay. Sheesh, demanding. What a sad sack. It says, safety award, footwear category. Second place, shoe tying contest. Hello? Hey, who are you? My name's Vela. What's yours? Mine? Well, mine is, uh... Gosh, it's been so long since anyone asked. Let me look it up. 
It's Melanie. Huh. Are you a closet, Melanie? Kind of. Step inside. I'll show you. Good. Now close those eyes tight to make sure your eyeballs make it to the same place you do. What? You haven't eaten in at least an hour, have you? Surprise! I'm a teleporter. Now you tell me a secret. Hey, where'd the other room go? What's wrong with my head? And my voice? Oh, no, I thought I had that fixed. You made my head bigger. Don't worry, sweetie, it's temporary. Take a trip back through me and I'll set things right. This is weird. Hey there. Back to the Nexus? Here goes nothing. Remember to come back through the way you came to avoid unwanted alterations. Now it's even bigger. Don't push it, honey. Come back through me before you pop. Hello in there. Who's out there? I can barely hear you. My name is Bella Tartine, and I'm here to take you down. D did you say Martine? Shay, is that you making a joke? Engineering department, just a routine maintenance visit. Engineering department? What are you talking about? Is that you, Shay? It's me, Shay. Oh, really? Is that really you, Shay? You sound kind of funny. It must be the intercom. But still, I need a little more proof, Shay. I mean, whoever you are. I want to believe it's you, Shay, but everything is just so strange right now. First the crash, and then my controls went dead, and now I can't reach your father. I just... I don't know who to trust. So just make me feel better by answering a few easy questions, okay? Um, sure. All right, first question. What was the name of your favorite stuffed animal as a child? Mr... Go on. Puggy. Is that your answer? Yes. 
Mr. Huggy, I see. Oh, Shay, I'm so glad you remembered Mr. Huggy. He was the first friend I ever knit for you. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this. What was that? Nothing. I see. Well, I have another question for you. Of all my little pet names for you, which one was your favorite? Please, can we not do this? That's, that's exactly what you used to say all the time. You hated my nicknames. I mean, Shay did. Now, just one more question for safety. I used to make my son new space boots every year until his ninth birthday when he insisted on machine-made boots from the replicator. As he would surely remember, I tried to keep things fresh by never repeating a color or a pattern. So, please tell me what was the color, size, and pattern of his very first space boots. Purple. And the size? Size four. And the pattern. Polka dot. Oh. Oh. Shay, it is you. <gasps> You're not a computer. You're not Shay. What have you done to our ship? Where's my son? Who are you? And why have you been kidnapping girls with this ship? Are you insane? My name is Bella Tartine. I shot down your ship. What? Why? We are an unarmed deep space vessel on a peaceful mission. Where is the big mom computer that controls this ship? Mom computer? What, what are you talking about? The wolf told me about you. Okay, now just calm down. You need some help. You are not in space. Look at that window. Well, not anymore. You shot us down. No, you were never in space. It's all fake. The stars are on the inside. On the outside, you're a monster. But... She's right, my friend. There he is. That's the wolf I was talking about. That voice. Hey, why aren't you trapped under that junk anymore? I am no wolf, am I, Hope? I'm an old friend. <gasps> Marikai, what are you doing here? I'm here to finish Operation Dandelion for you. I'm sorry that we had to keep some aspects of the mission secret from you and your family. But... how are you... You said our world was dying. It was, but then you went forth and found our salvation, as so many have before you. The Mogs. Sorry about the outer space theatrics. Just a precaution to save you from the temptation to go native, as some of your predecessors did. We were never in space? <laughs> no. Laruna is a great empire unto itself, but it is part of this very same planet. Beyond the Plague Dam. Funny you should mention that, Bella, because here we are. Now, while I prepare the ship for sterilization, you two sit tight and relax, and know that you are contributing to the well-being of many generations to come. Captain! Up here! I'm a weapon!
Yes. You lied to me. She's not a computer. I never said she was a computer. She's not behind the kidnappings. You are. I never said she was behind the kidnappings. You weren't trapped under that junk. I never... Well, okay, you got me on that one. I can be a little overdramatic about physical pain. Why did you shut me into this room? You just shot down our ship, and therefore had to be incapacitated. You're a dangerous girl, Vela. Something tells me we don't even know yet how much. Where are you taking us? And why? To the Red Hangar. For processing. Processing? As in, like, paperwork? Are the girls you kidnapped really still on board? Or did you lie about that, too? They're all on board and secured in a safe room. Including you. Is there really a plague on this side of the dam? <laughs> yes, there is a plague, but not in Laruna. The plague is you and your kind. No offense. Our people are the noble result of thousands of years of rigorous and expensive genetic curation. We built the dam to keep out the genetic plague of the Badlands. Badlands? Again. No offense. If we're a plague, why did you kidnap so many of us? Although it pains me to admit it, you spawns of chaos have something that we lost along the way and have not been able to simulate. Something unnameable and primitive. Maybe even brutish, but essential to our survival. What is it? Maybe you don't understand what unnameable means? That boy, her son, what's his part in this? Shay was raised outside of the nurturing atmosphere of Laruna so that he would be, some would say, weak enough, but I would add sensitive enough to select the subjects who fill the holes, as it were, in our collective family tree. This just gets creepier and creepier. Not everyone has the stomach for perfection. We want out of this room. Trust me, it's safer with you in there. How are we safer in here? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant safer to me. I gotta go. Yes, relax and enjoy. this? Oh, that's just my central control sphere. I used it to keep a watch on the ship. Make little changes here and there. Mind if I try it? Sure, but I'm sure Marakai shut down most of the remote features by now. Hey, I can see the outside of our door. Looks like the controls have been sabotaged. Really? Oh, if I could just get out there, I'll bet I could fix them. Well, yeah, but if we could get out there, we wouldn't need... Yeah, yeah, I know. But still. Ooh! I think I can lock and unlock doors. Yeah, but something tells me not ours somehow. Hey, I can see other rooms. Yeah but probably only the ones Marikai doesn't care about. Wow, those arms are strong. Yes, 
Pick that up. Thank you. And now... Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I guess it was dirty. But I didn't really need you to... Hey, where are you going with that? Those things have a mind of their own. Hey, cheer up. Everything's going to be... Sorry. Anything interesting going on in here? Unlocked. Let's see what's going on in here. Hey, cheer up. That's better. That's the spirit. That's my gal. A smile makes everything seem better, don't you think? That's the spirit. Nothing in here except a hexagal. Said if I could just find the oh, I wouldn't bring up the SPOON if I were you. <gasps> Tiny here broke his heart, so he volunteered for a suicide mission. You shut your mouth, Dutch. Hey, don't worry, I won't tell him who you dumped him for. <sighs> Yikes.
guess that sparking panel had its power shut off for a reason. Whoops. Just a little bit more. Someone should really fix that. There she goes. A little farther. Come on. wasn't right. Well, she'll have that fixed in no time. Over here. Hey. 
रही थी Let's move this. Let's try this. She'll have that fixed in no time. Yep. Let's turn this on. Good girl. Just a little bit more. Yes! We made it! Home stretch. Upside down. Ah. What's this do? Okay, here's a hand. Grab it. Yes. Good job. Whew. A smile makes it. Everything seemed better. Don't okay, go again. Is that a box of cereal? <laughs> More cereal, please. Halt! Keep moving. Okay, go again. Stop. Go. Okay, go again. Halt! Go. Stop. Keep moving. Okay, go again. Halt! Keep moving. Go. Stop right there. Over here. 
here. Okay. Let's be careful this time. I hope that hole is blocked up enough now. Okay, that should take a little while for her to fix. Hey, look! An electrical problem to fix. That's right! Better get on that. That's my girl. Check it out, Hope. You did it. We're free. Attention, approaching red hangar. Prepare for sterilization. Oh no. This place. This is where they build and store ships like ours. The Mog Factory? I'm afraid so. No. This is great. Instead of killing one Mog, we can destroy all the Mogs forever. Oh, and all the people in the factory, too. Darn. There are no people in the factory. It's all automated, but I really. Great. Now we just have to figure out how to use that death ray. Death ray? Yeah, you're right. A death ray isn't going to cut it this time. We're gonna need something bigger. Like a bomb. The only thing I've ever blown up was my family's oven. But with all the high-tech stuff on this ship, there must be something we can make a massive explosion with, right? Maybe, but I... So I'll make a bomb. Figure out a way to dump it in the factory. And also a way for you and me to get the heck out of here and back to our families. Sound good? Not really, but if there's a chance it will get me back to my family, then it's the only option I've got. Not exactly a battle cry, but I'll take it. Hey there. Hope? Vela, was it? So, I'm getting the feeling that you weren't behind all these kidnappings. What kidnappings? This ship. On the outside, it's built to look like a monster. <gasps> Every 14 years, a ship like yours comes to a village like mine, and we offer sacrificial maidens to it, so it won't destroy the town. It can't be. And then the monster, your ship, takes some of the maidens away forever. This all sounds so crazy. But it sounds exactly like the kind of scheme the Thrush would come up with. Sorry I lied about being your son. The wolf said, well, I'm just sorry. It's okay. I don't blame you. It sounds like Marakai has been fooling all of us for a long time. Your son is fine, by the way. He jumped off the ship when I got on. He's probably relaxing on the beach, enjoying the sun. Well, that's something at least. And my husband. I didn't see anyone else, but maybe they're together. I hope so. I just wish I could fly back and get them. Well, let's just make sure that's part of our escape plan. Listen, we have to stick together. Let's put the past behind us and team up to stop this horrible business. You want to team up with the captain of the ship that's been terrorizing your homeland? Yes, if you're willing to team up with a girl you just met. Who already lied to me once. Well, yes. On accident. Deal. Can't stop us now. Okay, I'm going back to work on the plan. Okay, I'll keep an eye on Marikai from here.
Wait, should I have written that down? Build a bomb, get it off the ship, and drive the ship out of here. No, I got it. There you are. And so nice and clean, too. Oh, whoops. I left that hanging out. Go back in, yarn arm. Oh, sorry. I was going to clean that up. I promise. Hey, it's that little gal riding the vacuum cleaner. There they go. Ice cream did not see that coming. I wonder if this whipped cream could make my blow up boy more lifelike. Well, maybe lifelike is too strong a word, but definitely less flat, and the whipped cream doesn't leak out as fast as air. It actually patches leaks. Mr. Volta stumbled on the formula while developing his hull patch. You know, you can repair a flat tire with that stuff! If nothing else, they'll keep my feet warm in here. Hey, you guys look like you got caught in some sort of ice cream avalanche. No, we're trying to cryogenically freeze ourselves. Some messed up junk has been going down around here, and we'd rather just sleep through it. Oh, I see. Mind if I have a look around? Knock yourself out. Just don't thaw us out until things settle down, okay? Friends in Mariloft could see me now. Why, yes, I will have some ice cream. Thank you. You sure that stuff is cold enough to freeze you? Oh, yeah. It's made of some really advanced doing is probably much safer than eating it. Oh, man. That whipped cream sludge ate my cloud shoes. Sorry, Carl. Hey there. I knew. 
target. Hey, I go to a more sensitive location than you two, so naturally I'm more sensitive to power surges. Uh huh. Here goes nothing. Hey, my head's normal. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. But at least I didn't make it any bigger this time. Oh, there was a dead moth on one of my lasers. It was messing the whole deal up. Yikes! Could have been worse. You could have ended up half girl, half moth. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, the stories I could tell, honey. Falling ship parts. Huh. I wonder what that funny look. Man, that's pretty. Wonder what it is. Oh, that's the fusion orb. It powers the ship's defenses. Is it dangerous? Not as long as it's on ice. And if it heats up? Omicron fission event. Ooh, that sounds like an explosion. Big one. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. I just like to keep track of where all the explosives are. Hey, I wonder if this cold bowl would keep that thing from overheating. Yeah, that works great. Attention! Do not remove fusion orb from refrigerated pedestal. Omicron fission event will occur. Not until my super advanced ice cream melts, it won't. And when the ice cream finally melts, something tells me we'll have a nice little explosion on our hands. Speaking of, I should probably get this thing off the ship. I don't want to blow up anything that close to me. Looks kind of sad without the orb. That kind of tickled. Hey there. Oh, you want to go back to the Nexus? Fingers crossed. Thank you for traveling with us. Cereal, please. There she goes. It's 
slowed her down just a little. Guess I still need more of an advantage. Hey there. Back to the Nexus. Close your eyes and make sure to give me a five-star review, okay? Dirty floor cereal for my troubles. Well, at least she left the chute open. eating this ice cream, but it looks like that's not going to happen now. Bombs away! Holy smokes! I just dropped a bomb! I'd better get us out of here before that ice cream melts. Hey there. Back to the Nexus. usually do in this situation.
anything. Trust us. That's big and perfect. We should celebrate. Let's do the party. Yeah, let's do the party. Yeah. I wanted to do this. Think you could twirl this mess of yarn up for me? It's what I was born to do. Bon appetit! Much better. Hey there. Back to the Nexus? Let's see if this works. Bye-bye. Hi, Mel. Back to the junk room? It's so nice to de-risk new people. Make sure to give me a five-star review, okay? This window is clear now. I wonder... Ah! Hey, it's the non-maiden. It's Bella. My name is Bella. Oh, yes. She's from my town. The one that sprayed me with water? What's she doing out there? More importantly, can she get us some food? I'm going to get you out of there. How? This monster's made of metal. I'm working on it. Are the other maidens in there? Oh, yeah. Drusilla's here, and your other sugar-bunting friends. Hey! And some lovely girls from Mariloft with the most amazing feather work. It is nice. What happened to you after you were taken? That gross tentacle dropped us into some sort of tube, and it just dumped us here. Vela, this monster is some sort of robot. It's a spaceship. Or at least it pretends to be. What? Long story. Tell you after. Magchathra, the Maiden's Feast. It was all a big scam. Oh, you must be one of the Maidens from Obvious Town. Why didn't you warn us? She did, now that I think about it. We just weren't listening. Hey, I've got some cereal here. Do... Yes, yes, yes. Drop it in front of the door. I'll grab it with my hook. Hurry, please. Here's some cereal. Oh, thank you, Vela. Let me do it. It's my hook. Leave it to me. Hey, what the heck? Oh my god, look at the size of that rat. What? Where? I can't see it. It panicked when you hooked it and ran off. But it was as big as a cat. I told you there were rats out there. Now what are we going to eat? Here, I found some more cereal. <sighs> Thanks, Bella. <laughs> oh, if you close your eyes, you can almost pretend it's rat. Shh, I'm having a hard enough time pretending this stuff is cereal. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of there, okay? Hurry, Bella! So hungry! Or at least get you some food. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of there, okay? Hurry, Bella! So hungry! Or at least get you some food. Hmm. Maybe. 
Maybe I can unlock the door by... Uh-oh. I better get out of here. What's going on in here? Ugh. Looks like this door received some damage in the crash. Some exposed wires here probably set off that alarm. Better do some quick repairs. That was close. Hey, Mel. Hey, Mel. It's so nice to de risk new people. Thanks for choosing teleportation. Looks like some sort of video game. Looks like some sort of video game. Looks like some sort of video game. It's a chart with stars on it. That does it. I'm breaking that lock. My name, it's Lorraine. Lorraine, I need you to do something really important for me. I've been waiting to hear those magic words all my life. Space Weaver. Hello, and thank you for considering me. Yes! Huh? Oh, that's the stuff. So, can we go somewhere now? Absolutely. Somebody have me a star chart, quick! My needles itch! <laughs> Weaving lab scarf. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. This giant scarf thrusters at us. I think I need Spin something with a little more... Velocity. Finesse. Hey, I got finesse. I can cut real thin like. No cutting needed Four. here. Three. Just Two. a quick fix. One. NASA deployed. Drive thread engaged. Drive thread. Pause. What? Pause. Yes, it is strange. The NAM system is ready, but the engines are in blocked. Locked? By what? By the young master's mother. What? By the mother. How are you? Uh... 
Long story. We've got time. Not going anywhere. We'll see about that. You're just in time. Marikai is leaving the ship. Look, there he goes. Is everything else ready? I baked the cake and put it in the oven. Great, then let's get out of here. Thank you for getting my baking reference. Drive red, engaged. Well, I couldn't patch everything, but the main living areas should hold together now. Well then, that means this ship is ready to fly to Laruna. How about you guys? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Stop. You aren't going anywhere. Who are you guys? Bella's family. We've been talking to people. And we've connected some dots. When Mob Chothra ate my sister, he barked you up. Please, tell us where our daughter is. She's... She's gone beyond the plague day. We're all going after her. Who's we? It sounds like all of us. Yeah, um, I had already initiated launch, but, um, nice to meet you guys. I'm a friend of your daughter's. Jedi God has truly risen and exposed a whole new segment of beachfront property for development. Looks like this day turned out okay after all. Something tells me we've arrived. Wow. So, what do we do now? Honk or something? Time to see if the ship's communication system still works. Hello. Uh, ahoy. This, this is the star airship Malaruna requesting re-entry. Um, I've been gone a long time, but if you could just open the door, we'll come in and explain it. Alex, I don't think that's going to... Oh, never mind. Look at that. Yes. Oh, wait a second. What's that? Dad, is that? That's our ship. You think Mom's on board? Brace yourself. You hit them. Hey, we're on an autopilot. But look, since we're so close, I'll extend our gangway and you can use it to go say hi. It's way too short. What, you're afraid of a little jump? They're firing at her! Quick, back up! Let them get out of range! 
I told you, autopilot. Well, do something. Okay, everybody be quiet. I need to think. Shooting. You said this was your home. People, this is just some sort of misunderstanding. I've been gone 300 years. Give them a break, okay? As soon as I figure out the hailing frequency, I'll tell them who I am and we'll all be laughing about this. I hope you're right, Alex. Thank you. 